Hi, I'm Jeff Payne and I'm a preventive maintenance instructor with Caterpillar and today I want to talk to you about something that's very simple but can be a costly repair if you don't take the time to do it right. Swing bearings. Your swing bearing on this machine is a very vital part of this machine. If that swing bearing gets worn then the upper cab on here is going to te teeter and totter when you're swinging back and forth and around with loads and we don't want that. It's expensive to replace that bearing and very time consuming. But a few steps and we can take care of that problem so it lasts you a long time before it ever needs to replace it and that's proper greasing. Now you need to consult your operation and maintenance manual located behind the seat pocket for your specific machine but typically they'll have two or three zerks up here and we need to clean them zerks off get the dirt out of them and grease them following the procedures in the book and I think the book on this machine will tell us to grease it until we see grease come out. At that point there this is where a lot of guys goof up. They'll stop and think they have the machine all greased, but you need to read the book because a lot of these machines will tell you to rotate the top body either 90 degrees and re-grease or 180 degrees and re-grease again. That way we're greasing multiple spots around the bearing so that grease is well distributed and that's going to save you time and money from not having to replace this bearing. Also while we're in this area down here, there's another compartment that is almost always overlooked on these things and it's located right down inside here. There's a cover inside here with four bolts on it and inside that cover down in there is a compartment with grease in it. That grease is swing gear grease not swing this is swing bearing this is swing gear grease down inside here. Now that grease in there needs to be there there's a spec in your OMN that tells you how much grease is supposed to be down in that compartment and it can be quite a bit I mean something this size would probably hold uh, close to seven gallons of grease inside there. That never has to be changed out but what we got to watch out for is if this has been operated in some, some wet areas and been water up in here, we could have water down in there. Or I've seen where they get a lot of debris built up in this lower area down here and water stands in here and then you get water down in there. And if that water seeps down into that compartment, you're going to have a rusty swing gear and contaminated grease and lead to problems inside there. So we need to pull that out, check it, make sure we have the proper level in there and make sure it's not contaminated with water or some other foreign object that's not supposed to be in there. So for more information on your swing bearing and your swing gear, look in the operation and maintenance manual located behind your seat in the seat pocket. And as always, you can contact your local cat dealer to help you out with even more information.